It's time to find the best location for the master cell in our 1979 CJ7. We're installing our 20 circuit kit in this Jeep. And in the 20 circuit kit, you get two of our power cells, one for the front and one for the rear. Then you get one of our master cells. And the master cell is the brains of the operation. All of your switches connect to the master cell, and then your master cell commands the power cells in the front or the rear to turn things on or off. So your headlight switch, your ignition switch, your brake pedal switch, the cooling fan and fuel pump triggers all wire to the master cell. So there's a couple things to consider when you're finding the best location for your master cell. First, you want it to be as close to your switches as possible because that makes the runs of wire to your switches short. That makes it easy to install. The second thing you want to consider is that your master cell is your diagnostic window into the system. So you need to have reasonable access to take the cover off, to look at the screen, and to push these buttons so the master cell can tell you what's going on in your system. So here in the Jeep, we've gone through everything, and we found the best location to mount our master cell is actually right here behind the glove compartment. We're not going to be using the glove box at all because it's not secure and it's really small, but we can fabricate a bracket. We can put this right behind the master cell. The run of wire from the master cell to the switches is really short, and we can open up the master cell and easily get the cover off to read the screen, press the buttons, and troubleshoot or diagnose any issues in the Jeep. So this is the best location. We're going to fabricate that bracket and mount that here. Stay tuned because right now we're going to go find the best location in the back of the Jeep for our rear power cell. Stay tuned and keep watching.